Greetings YouTube. It has been a minute since I've made a video and I know and I'm guilty of it. Today I'm going to be reviewing the mobile UM700 USB microphone. All in-depth details and specifications about this microphone will be in the description. Disclaimer. This microphone was sent to me for review so all my comments and thoughts are going to be unbiased. With that said and out of the way, let's go. First things first, let's go ahead and unbox it right quick. First, we got some cables. I think we got the USB cable and we got the microphone. Boy, oh boy, this microphone, it, it's heavy. <laughs> let's go ahead and test the sound quality of this microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my computer and let's do some sound testing. Let's hear the sound quality and how this microphone works. Okay, let's talk about build quality. This microphone is built like a tank. At the bottom, we got a 5.8 thread input so we can mount this microphone to any microphone arm. It also has the input for the USB connector and we got headphone input jack. At the back of the microphone, we got the volume, the gain knob, and we got the pattern selection. For someone who doesn't know patterns of microphones, it would have been nice if we put the names in here. The front of the microphone, we got the headphone volume knob, and we got a mute button. The construction of the microphone is very, very solid, I do have to say. At the bottom, we got a 90s lighting rubber pad and we got a mug coffee holder right there. I'm only kidding. So the microphone feels very solid, but that's not what it's all about. Let's listen into the sound quality of it, yeah? Let me just say something before I continue with this video. Have you ever wanted a USB microphone that you can monitor yourself right away without the need of a sound card? Well, this microphone does it. And because of that fact, I'm gonna give this microphone a thumbs up. What does that mean? Well, it means that you don't need a, an interface. You don't need one of these things to run your audio to the interface so you can hear yourself loud and clear. With this microphone, I can hear myself loud and clear. And in my book, that is a thumbs up. So there are four different options of this microphone, four different pattern options. We got stereo, number one, counting from the uh, left to the right. We got a cardioid pattern, which it records, it max, it's supposed to maximize the sound coming from the rear in all sides, only supposed to be what you're hearing right now. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, we got the omnidirectional pattern, which is supposed to pick up the sound from all around the microphone, okay, for live ambient sound. And we got the bidirectional, which are records in front and in the back of the microphone for interviews, for podcasting, for amazing things, right? So let's go ahead and test these patterns. And I'm gonna start from the left. I'm gonna start with stereo. Okay, okay, so right now I am on stereo mode and I'm gonna talk to the microphone on the right side of the microphone and you can probably hear me a little bit more on the right side of the speakers or your headphones. And now I'm center again and now I am left of the microphone. Let's go to the cardioid pattern which is supposed to reject sound from all around the microphone but what's in front of the capsule. Let's go to it now, which by the way is the third option. All right, so we got the cardioid pattern. So let's go ahead and talk to the side of the microphone. It's probably gonna be a little bit muffled, not that much sound. And this is the back of the microphone, okay? And now we are on the other side of the microphone as well. And now we are back to the front of the microphone and that is the cardioid pattern. Now let's go ahead and go to the omnidirectional pattern. So now you should be hearing sound from all over, all around the microphone. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. This is for ambient sound. Let's say you are at a round table and everybody's speaking. The microphone is going to pick up all of their voices. 
as long as well they speak up loud you know what i'm saying so that is the omnidirectional pattern the v-directional pattern it's the front and rear so let's go ahead and put that to the test hello guys one two three hello guys one two three hello guys one two three hello one two three sound testing this microphone perfectly fine what can i really say about the microphone well let me tell you something i am mind blown by the fact that i can hear myself because i got my headphones connected right here i got the bear dynamic uh, dt770 pros the sound quality that this little microphone produces it's incredible it's only 99 dollars. you got microphone output think about it you got microphone output you got your microphone with four four different modes okay power through usb it has a volume controller in the front and it's got the mute button right now i'm muted and check this out one It was like, tuk, tuk, tuk. I muted it several times. What can I really say about the microphone? Let's go ahead and test the proximity effect. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing today? So right now, I got the microphone at 1 o'clock. The volume knob is at 1 o'clock, and I think it's loud enough. The preamps of the microphones are very important. Some microphone preamps create a lot of noise. But this microphone here, the preamps, it has a very low noise. I have to say that. And I'm telling you, I didn't get paid to do this review. Like I said, they sent me this microphone and I am mind blown. Hey guys, so right now you're listening to me with fully processed effects and everything. So the question for the artist or the answer for the artist, can you use this microphone to record? Now, like I said, and I keep bringing it up, this microphone has a built-in interface with a very low latency. The lowest I can go, it's at 26 milliseconds. Why is that? Well, we have to be thankful about it, actually. <laughs> Because USB my USB my USB microphones can't do that. Not many of them, and trust me that I test so many. So, right now, let's say you are a rap artist or a singer, and you want to record your music with full effects, with a with a beat, and you're about to record, right? You want to be able to hear everything with full effects, delays and everything. And I want you to know if the mic is alright. And I want you to know if the mic is alright. And I want you to know if you should buy this mic. And I want you to know if this mic is alright. Well, I got a couple of things to say. The microphone has few knobs here and there and I am impressed by the sound quality and the price that this microphone is. Man, the microphone is great. All right, let me go ahead and cut to the chase. The microphone is good. Let me play this music in the background right quick. This is my, my recording software, right, in the background. What can I say about the microphone? I can only say, Facts, and you can hear them. You can hear the microphone. It's not only for podcasting. It's not only for, um, it's not only for you know desk applications and whatnot. You can actually use this microphone to record music, rap artists, young kids starting. You don't have enough money to buy an interface. You don't have enough money to buy one of these microphones. For live streaming you don't have enough money to get a decent or expensive um, condenser microphone this microphone is gonna do the job for you seriously 
I'm no capping. This is just, I mean, I'm not a good singer, right? But you can hear how it sounds. And I want you to know if this mic is alright. And I want you to know what you should buy this mic. By no means I'm a good singer or anything. I was probably singing off key. And I'm probably gonna keep, I'm probably gonna be spit on the forehead with so much hate. I'm gonna get kicked in the balls for singing terribly to this happy. But I just wanted to prove a point. You can use this microphone for music recording, guitars, all of that stuff. But there's only one problem that you should know about this microphone. That only one problem that I found. And it's called the proximity effect. But I'm not gonna explain too much into it. I just wanna give you four facts. This microphone has four different modes so what does that mean that means that it's got few capsules inside left and right front and back and all the way around so with that said the proximity effect will distort the capsules take a listen to this you are listening to me and now there is a distortion and you do not want to do that with this microphone. You do not want to get it really close. Like right now, I'm four inches away from the microphone. And it's already probably distorting the microphone. Even if we put the capsule, it's still distorting the microphone. So don't try to get that close to the microphone because you will distort it. Bottom line. And I don't think you should do that to any other microphone. But there are some microphones that you can get really close to them and speak really loud without having this problem. That is the only problem that I found on this microphone. And I don't think it's enough for me to remove no stars or give it a thumbs down. This microphone, I'm going to give this microphone 99 out of 100 because it's very well deserved. This microphone, seriously, it's at another level. The functionality, forget about the bass, forget about the functionality of the microphone just blew me out of the water. With that said, Sergio here with Takeover Clocked, signing out, stay beautiful, stay awesome. Don't forget that. I want you to know Mike is so right, right, right. I'm a terrible singer, by the way. I'll stop the cringe now. I'll stop the cringe now. Don't worry about it.